Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Mitnick and I'm the Chief Hacking Officer at Know Before. And I always get questions surrounding password management. People always asking, how can I choose the best password so I don't end up compromised? So what do I recommend? Is that people get away from passwords and start using passphrases or what I like to call past sentences. And those past phrases should be 25 characters or more. I know what you're thinking, wait a second, that's too long, 25 characters? How am I gonna possibly remember that? Well, you know what? It's really simple. How about a simple sentence is I went to the beach today and swam in cold water, right? Something that's so easy to remember, but so hard for an attacker to crack. Now, you can make it a little bit more complex and misspell one of the words in the sentence. And by all means, you always want to use multi-factor authentication. So when you're accessing cloud-based applications or websites, any of those websites that allow you to do so, always enable multi-factor authentication. And what I uh, recommend is using something like a YubiKey that uses FIDO technologies. The other thing you need to do is actually choose another um, pass phrase for your password manager. And a password manager allows you to manage the rest of your credentials. So you choose a master password to unlock the password manager and the password manager takes care of the rest. So what are the common password managers out there? Well, there's one password, that's one of my favorites, LastPass and KeePass. And you could actually configure these password managers to randomly create, for example, 15 character passwords. Like if you're using sites that don't allow you to use anything over 15 characters, you could actually configure your password manager to do that for you. So let me show you how easy it is for a, for a threat adversary to crack your passwords. Now, ordinarily what, a, what an attacker is gonna do is they're gonna break into your company and they're gonna get to Active Directory and they're gonna extract all the password hashes for your users, and then they're gonna crack those offline. Okay, so let me actually show you how that works. So I'm going over here to this website that allows me to generate random words, right? So we're gonna pick uh, words that are 14 characters long. Right here, I put in 14. I'm gonna hit generate. So this, all this is doing is generating a word list, because I just wanna pick a random word, so I'll, I'll just, uh, I don't know, pick something long, uh, quadrilateral, right? So I'm gonna pick that word and I'm gonna plug this into a different website, a different web form that allows me to convert this word to leet speak, right? So instead of, you know, uh, an I, it might be a one or instead of an O, it might be a zero. I'll show you what happens when we do so. So let's pick a random number. Well, what's the date today? Let me go over to the date. It's September 12th. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick in a 12. And then let's pick uh, uh, two symbols, two random symbols. We could use a star, we could use a dollar sign. So then what we're gonna do is take this string here, this word, two numbers and two symbols, and we're gonna convert it to lead speak. And here we go. And if you take a look here, right here, this actually looks quite complex. You would think that an attacker could crack that password if that is the password you're using to log into your computer. But what the truth of the matter is, an attacker can do so quite easily. So let me actually show you how that works. So I'm gonna copy the password. I'm gonna go over to my password cracker and I'm using eight GTX uh, GPUs. So I get billions of password tries a second with Windows NTLM hashes, that's in the billions. Not the millions, the billions. So what I'm gonna do is run my program. I'm gonna put in the lead speak credential that looks like complete gibberish. I'm gonna hit enter. And then what my program does is it generates here an NTLM hash. Because Windows doesn't store your plain text password in the operating system, it stores the NTLM hash in Active Directory and in, in the operating system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit enter to continue, and there's gonna be a little bit of a pause because my, my cracker has to actually start up. So let me hit enter. 
And as you can see here, we have the eight GeForce GTX 1080 cards. So we get an extremely fast rate of password cracking. And it's started. So I'm gonna hit a status. And as you can see here, I'm getting quite a bit of password tries a second. Wow, it already finished. So it literally took under a minute. We started at 0348.22, and we ended at 0348.53, and we're able to crack that password hash with my eight GPU cracker. So again, how are you gonna protect yourself against a threat adversary cracking your password? Stop using passwords, start using passphrases, 25 characters or more, a sentence with spaces. So it's extremely easy for you to remember. If you want to make it a little bit more difficult, always you could always misspell one of the words in the sentence. Always use multi-factor authentication wherever you possibly can. And remember, if you have a very complex password, you can't stop malware, malicious software, from, using, from intercepting your password with a keylogger. You also can't stop a sophisticated hacker from a spear phishing campaign. What you have to do is use Nobefore's new security awareness training and simulated phishing to mitigate that type of attack. So please stay safe out there. Start using passphrases instead of passwords.